dividing by multiples of 10. So this paper gives you some directions. So 420 divided by 70. So I know that looks like a big number, but if you break it down, your fact family, 42 divided by 7 equals 6. There's no zeros because we broke it down to our basic facts. So 42 divided by 7 is 6. And then the numbers of zeros in the quotient equals the number of zeros in the divisor minus the number of zeros in the dividend. So there's only one of each. So they cancel each other out. So our answer is just six. So let's do a couple together. So 560,000 divided by 700. What we're really figuring out is 56 divided by 7, or if it's easier for you to think, 7 times what equals 56. So I know 7 times 8 equals 56. Now we have to figure out how many zeros. So there are 2 in our dividend. So to help me remember, I'm just going to cross them out. So two, then I go over here and cross two out. And I have two zeros left. So my answer is 800. And this is my work for one. And you know with math, you always show your work. So number two. 81 divided by 9 equals... Or we could say 9 times what equals 81. I know 9 times 9 is 81, so 81 divided by 9 must be 9. So I know this is going to start with 9. I cross my 0 off and go over here, cross one off. I have 2 left. So my answer is 900. And then we're going to flip over to 8. I'm not going to worry about the zeros. 15 divided by 5. Or 5 times what equals 15? I know 5 times 3 is 15. So 15 divided by 5 equals 3. I know my answer is going to start with 3. So I'm going to do my zeros. 1, 2, 3. So 3 is good. So 150,000 divided by 50 is 3,000. That's what I'll do. One more. 19. Oh, 12 divided by 4 equals something. Or 4 times what equals 12. Hmm. 4 times 3 equals 12. So 12 divided by 4. I know it's going to start with three again. And I have one, two, three zeros in my dividend. So I have three zeros in my dividend. And I have one left. So 120,000 divided by 4,000 equals 30. So if you need more help, just let me know.